The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Now on 77 WABC, your New York weekend, it's more Aaron Klein Investigative Radio. Now, uh, you recently, in the last few days, you came under some fire from the leftist blogosphere because... Um, you mistakenly you stated that President Obama grew up in Kenya, but you corrected yourself on the O'Reilly factor um, that you were in the middle of a book tour. And I, like I said, I know what it's like. You're doing 15, 20 interviews. And, you know, but after the 15th interview, I start to think, and you probably think you were the one born in Kenya. Uh, so it, it's very easy to, to, to get confused. You clarified that Obama grew up, grew up in Indonesia, which, which he did. Now, uh, with this issue, for 2012, so that there is no controversy in the future, uh, do you personally support some form of legislation that would call for every presidential candidate, putting Obama aside, just in general, every presidential candidate, to prove his place of birth? For the most part, Aaron, I don't even think it's necessary. I mean, uh, we we pretty much have our biographies. Uh, The news media is going to delve into everything imaginable um you know i think sometimes that piece of legislation might look like a swipe at obama i don't believe obama was born overseas i believe he was born in hawaii and i've stated that over and over again i think the nuttiest thing of all was that people said well he knew he was saying that on purpose about kenya of course i didn't anybody who's ever heard me talk i've said it on national television repeatedly that i i have no doubts about his hawaiian birth My point was, and and the issue about Kenya was relating to the influence that I believe that his his Kenyan father and grandfather had. I misspoke. I said I misspoke and should have said. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and you know it's like I said, Barack Obama talked about having visited 57 states, but you know I don't (laughs) think anybody said. Well, what he really was talking about was he was going to add all the territories and and that's what he was doing. He he was. Really, he knew exactly what he was doing. And I find it interesting. I, I was watching some of these commentators who said, you know, Huckabee knew exactly. I, you know, they have no idea what was in my head. And it's just idiotic on their part to even say that uh, that was some conspiracy on my, you know, my side. Ridiculous. Right. Right. Uh, Mike Huckabee, of uh, former presidential candidate, perhaps future presidential candidate, Mike Huckabee, author of the new book, A Simple Government, 12 Things We Really Need from Washington, and a trillion that we don't. Mike Huckabee, thank you for being here on Aaron Klein Investigative Radio. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.